Now, The Lost Eye is an exploration action adventure set within a beautiful dream world. A linear journey with a fair amount of puzzles that will require you to solve them to continue. There is technically action in here, with even the occasional boss battle, but I personally found the combat frequency to be pretty sparse. There's a casual feel to the journey because of the way the combat is paced. I will say the combat is pretty good. You can even punch and grab some of the enemies. And there's nice attention to detail in the way that a half-destroyed enemy will keep pursuing you. And speaking of grabbing, the interaction system is really well done. There's plenty of debris to move around, and lots of breakable boxes to look for currency and ammunition. The interactions feel heavily inspired by Boneworks, especially in the way that you can zip items to your hands. You'll definitely want to search a lot for currency, because it's by paying at a machine that you get the good weapons. And they'll eventually break with use, so there's a strong incentive to continue looking for currency. I enjoyed the casual journey and the beautiful atmosphere, but I had real trouble using the shoulder weapon holsters. I just couldn't find a consistent way to store and retrieve weapons from there. I found that pretty annoying, so I stuck with the front facing holsters near the hips. After playing for about 5 hours, I'm currently stuck at one puzzle that I haven't found the cipher for. And the game tells me that I'm only halfway through, so this journey is pretty long at about 10 hours of play. If you're in the mood for a somewhat slow but beautiful magical journey, then I recommend it. There's three difficulty modes to choose from, and for movement, you can do sliding or teleporting. The price is $25. Well, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe. See ya!